My name is Troy South, and this is South Christmas Tree Farm. We're actually in the northern part of Washington County, about 25 miles uh, out of Portland. Farm's actually 270 acres, but we farm about 100, and, 100 acres in Christmas trees and boughs. We had the opportunity to take some of our fields of large trees. We converted about 40 acres of the farm into bow production. Our targets usually uh, give or take about 200,000 pounds a year. We'll uh, harvest them, take them, put them on a truck, and then they go to large uh, bow companies. We have different ones around that like to buy the, buy the boughs, and then they're used for wreath making and turned into different Christmas decorations. Anything from wreaths, garlands, all of that sort of stuff. We're actually really blessed with the nice terrain here. It's very well suited for uh, growing noble fir and AB species. We have a lot of challenges. Steep terrain, very steep terrain, and it's got its challenges and limitations of what equipment you can take onto it. And then also with the weather, if it gets really wet, uh, you're going to have issues of being able to move around and so uh, finding the right equipment whether it be helicopter or it be our tracked uh, dumper that we converted into uh, a uh, bow hauling machine uh, and you just kind of have to think outside the box a little bit to really get the full potential out of this property. Uh, part of the process of doing the boughs so you can hear in the background uh, the trees falling and we're actually cutting the branches off of the trees on the ground, bundling them up and we try to shoot for about a 50 pound bundle uh, just because the train isn't real friendly for uh, carrying 60, 70 pound bundles out. And uh, then we would carry, we've got some uh, access roads in here. So what we typically would do is we would carry the bundles out to those roads. Typically we're about 120 feet between road systems. And then we can use our track dumper to come up, but on this really steep ground, it can get a little bit dicey where we'll actually carry them all the way out here to the main road. So now you could be packing a uh, hundred yards. This turned out to be pretty interesting uh, with meeting Asa and uh, I had, we had talked at a, at a Christmas tree uh, convention deal at our, uh, for the Pacific Northwest, the tree fair, and uh, I happened to be walked by and saw the drone and I was like, wow, that's impressive. And so we were talking and we happened to mention that we were doing bows and, you know, we've flown bows with a helicopter and that I don't know why it couldn't pick up bows. My name is Asa DeForest. Um, I'm the founder of HarvestWise Drone Solutions, uh, located here in the Great Pacific Northwest. Troy and I met uh, at this year's annual Christmas tree show, and uh, he and I really hit it off. Uh, it was a great opportunity for, for me to basically introduce him to uh, a large-scale uh, drone technology that could support uh, the industry that he works in, which is the Christmas tree industry. So yeah, they brought out one of their drones today and uh, we had had a, quite a few bundles down in the hole that typically we would have had to pack out, put on our track dumper and get out and uh, had five or six guys working on this. And uh, with the drone, I was really impressed with how efficient it, it really was I think that there's a lot of potential. Yeah, we were going to the bottom of the unit, so probably a good uh, 300 feet uh, type of hauls. And uh, we moved uh, quite a few bows that we would have spent probably, well, had four or five guys, and they probably would have spent an hour, hour and a half to load those up versus being able just to fly them directly onto the road. So I see quite a bit of potential there. I was really impressed, actually, the thing that 
I've probably really stood out to me besides the lifting capacity was the speed of, of the unit. The, the drone actually traveled at a much higher speed and under more control than what I was expecting. One of the things I was really impressed by was the uh, battery usage and consumption. So we were able to do multiple turns um, before we actually had to change out batteries with the system. So we were to be able to carry uh, heavy payloads and make uh, very quick, efficient turns, probably sub-minute to minute and a quarter turns on basically uh, loading up bows and basically dropping them off and then returning back to uh, hook up and, and uh, get going again. This is where my wheel turns. It's, I like kind of thinking outside the box and, and open to new ideas and seeing things progress and new technologies, I think is really exciting. And I think there's a lot of potential in, from uh, fertilizing, spraying, uh, monitoring. I think that's where I get kind of excited seeing and if we could actually monitor the health of a tree using this plus having lifting capabilities now all of a sudden with our bow operation. I like equipment that has more than one purpose and that's what I'm actually seeing with the drone is I think we've got something here that has potential to cover a lot of different bases on our farm. The product has a place in this industry, and uh, I think just figuring out how to make it super efficient and safe for everybody to, to work with it is probably the, the path forward that we need to continue to look at.